this is Ritesh Srinivasan and welcome to my channel. In this video, I'll be explaining how you can chat with your medical data. So basically, you are trying to create a medical chatbot using the latest Mistral 7 billion large language model. So the Mistral 7 billion is the state of the art 7 billion large language model. And the bloke also released the instruction tuned fine tuned version of Mistral 7 billion. It's quantized models. Okay. The advantage of quantized models are that they are going to use very less space compared to your non quantized models. Okay. So I'll go to the demo and then I'll be coming back and forth. Okay. Uh, so for this demo, I'll be using Llama index to index my PDF document. Okay. So basically this is my PDF document. It's a document which talks about a medical condition called fibromyalgia. Okay. So this is a PDF which has details about fibromyalgia and other things. So I am actually now I want to create a chatbot which answers questions from this PDF file. Okay. That's the idea. So for that, I instantiate a collab instance. This is a GPU instance, even though I'm using a quantized model. Okay. And I have uploaded this PDF file over here under a folder called data. So once when you are starting your chatbot, once if you start this particular collab instance, you also need to do this. You need to upload the data file over here. Okay. Under a folder called data, right? Then what you have to do is that basically run the code. So I have to install PyPDF. Okay. I have to install transformers. I have to install Llama CPP Python because I'm making use of this particular GGUF or quantized models. Okay. I'll come to that. Right. And uh, for it to make use of GPU plus CPU, this is the installation command. Okay, where did I get these details? I got these details from llama.cpp, uh, this particular page. Okay, I'll be putting this in the description of the video, right? So llama.cpp Python is a Python binding for llama.cpp. Uh, uh, so it supports inference for many LLMs. So this is for making use of C, uh, your CPU and GPU for inferencing your large language models. Okay, right? As I said, you need to install using this command. Okay. Uh, and then I'll install Llama index. Okay. What is Llama index? Llama index is a library which supports uh, retrieval based, uh, what do you call uh, augmentation, right? Retrieval based augmentation for large language models. So I have made a previous video on Llama index. You can check that out. Okay. So here I'll be making use of Llama index, right? So the idea is that I have a content. I have content in this particular PDF. Now I want to use a large language model, which is Mistral 7 billion over here to answer questions from this PDF. For that, I'm using the Llama index library. What would Llama index library do? Uh, using Llama index library, I can uh, create embeddings for the text present in this particular PDF. And then that embeddings are uh, chunks of embeddings are created. They are indexed into a vector store. So then when I ask a particular query, right, it finds the appropriate content from this vector store. This is done by Llama index. And then then Llama index gives that content as part of my prompt or the query to the Mistral model to get an appropriate response. That is the workflow. Okay. So what I have to do is that first I need to actually from Llama index import vector store index, simple directory reader, service context, and my documents are present within this content data. So I uh, use a simple directory reader, which will load the text data in this particular directory. What Whatever files are present over here, it will read that. Basically it is PDF over here. It will read the PDF, it will convert it into text and that is what is present in this documents. Okay. So this is simple directory reader is present in Llama index. Okay. Then what I need to do is that from Llama index, because I'm, I have this particular model, which is GGUF format. So basically it is supported by libraries like C transformer, Llama CPP. 
So over here, I have to actually instantiate llama cpp from llama index.llms. That is what I'm doing over here. And I also import some messages to prompt and completion to prompt because to use this particular uh, model, the instruction tuned model, you need to have a prompt template like this, right? Instruction, then your prompt instruction. Okay. And this is by default present within, uh, you know, messages to prompt in this llama index utils. So that is what I'm doing over here. And here I am instantiating the model. Okay. So here I'm doing LLM is equal to llama CPP model URL. Okay. One thing which you need to take care of here is that if you go to this particular release from the block, right. And if you go to the files over here, right, you have these various files which are available, right. So what I'm going to do is that I will be using the four bit quantized model because, uh, you know, you have, uh, so i will be using this particular medium size four bit quantized model. It has got balance quality and it is recommended to use. So I'll be making use of this. So one way of getting this particular link is that I can click on this, right? It opens up over here and then I need to look at this download link. Okay. Basically I copy this URL address and I have to paste it over here. So that is what I've done over here. Okay. That is the model URL. I have not downloaded it locally. So model path is none. And these are the other parameters. Okay. And if I put GPU layers is equal to minus one over here. So what happens is that it makes use of the GPU, right? All the, it offloads a lot of GPU layers onto GPU. Basically, again, this is present over here in terms of what are the parameters of uh, Llama CPP. So you can file CPP Python, you can find it out, right? So that is what I'm, I'm doing over here because I want to make use of the GPU as well. Okay. But I want to make use of a quantized model. Now, why I wanted to make use of a quantized model over here, when I tried the Llama 7 billion instruct as such on this GPU, uh, on this uh, collab instance, on a CPU, on a GPU collab instance, it ran out of memory, right? Um, that's why I am using the, uh, what do you call quantized model over here. I want to make use of less resources over here. Okay. And the context window for uh, here, it says Llama 2, but it's not Llama 2. The context window for Mistral is also 4096 tokens. But uh, you know what they're saying is that let's keep it a little bit lower, right? So this is the default parameter over here, okay? And messages to prompt is message to prompt, completion to prompt is completion to prompt. So this is against default um, messages. So I found out that this particular instruction, uh, you know, uh, the format basically, uh, where is it? Uh, you know, how do you actually prompt this particular model? That instruction format is part of, you know, this messages to prompt right so that's why i've included as such so this model is now downloaded and it is instantiated okay then to convert your uh, embeddings right your text into embeddings to index it in a vector store you require sentence transformers you need to install sentence transformers and then what i do is that from langchain embeddings hugging face i have to import hugging face embeddings okay and from Llama index, I have to import Langchain embedding service context. And here is my embedding model. Okay. This is how I instantiated. Now I have chosen a particular embedding model over here called, you know, GT large or general text embeddings. Okay. Now, why didn't I use a plain sentence transformer embeddings over here? It's because if you look at this, uh, you know, the leaderboard for uh, text embeddings. Here you have this particular GT large is doing better than say your sentence transformers over here across many tasks. So I wanted to make use of this. So you can actually make use of uh, sentence transformers as well. Okay. You can try out with these various embeddings. Okay. So that is how I'm instantiating the embeddings over here. So now you have your LLM instantiated. You have your embeddings instantiated, right? You have read your text. Uh, and next, what you do is that you need to actually, uh, basically, you need to create an index, right? Uh, before that, you have to instantiate a service context because you, you are using your customized LLM over here and customized embedding model. By default in Llama index, they make use of OpenAI, but we are using customized LLM, which is Mistral 7 billion and customized embedding model, which is GT large. So that is what you are doing over here in service context. 
and then you can directly index your documents by creating this uh, index is equal to vector store dot index from documents you pass your documents right basically what your pdf which you have converted to text and by passing this particular service context okay now you have done that so this uh, uh, indexing happens right once you have done the indexing you can create your query engine as index as query engine and you can pass this response as query engine dot query what is this condition so this is the question which i am passing this to this query engine so it has created the index so what internally it does is that it takes this query it uh, creates embeddings using our embeddings then it searches in the vector space right in in the documents which is the closest or relevant content for this particular query it gets it and then it attaches it as part of our prompt and then it asks the llm to give a response right and that that response is what you are seeing over here so it gives that fibromyalgia is a long term condition that causes pain tenderness all over your body it is thought to be caused by your nervous system uh, process pain signals right this condition is linked to so and so okay so that you can see from your this thing fibromyalgia is a long term condition that is from see it is thought to be caused by your nervous system in your brain and spine not being able to process things so it is actually extracted this as a relevant content basically using vector search then this is given to the llm and llm is now pulled out this response now we can actually ask further queries so basically you can put it into an infinite loop and you can ask queries right so you can like what are what are the symptoms okay see the symptoms of fibro include sprain that spreads throughout the body uh particularly in the neck uh, so it actually pulls it out and it shows this particular response okay again from the symptoms pain you may feel different parts of the body right so it's actually pulling from over here okay so in this way you have actually created a basically you have created a medical chatbot over here now this could be from any domain you can change the pdf to any other domain and you can create chatbots across various domains so this is using mistral 7 billion language model as your llm okay for retrieval augmented llm based uh, you know uh, text generation okay and you have made use of your uh, gt large okay or general text embeddings as your embedded model okay you are using llama index as your orchestrator kind over here to actually uh, connect the embeddings basically the vector store and the llm okay um uh, so in this way you can also create your uh, chatbots on different uh, content basically uh, using mistral 7 billion language model so i've created a previous video on mistral 7 billion you can check that out to understand more about mistral i hope this video is useful to you i'll be putting the link of this collab in the description of the video along with all the other relevant links see you in another video